On June the 24th, 1982, the devastating effects of an ash cloud took the crew of a British Airways jet completely by surprise. Windscreen. Mount Galangang on the island of Java has erupted, but no warnings have been issued to pilots. When the 747 flies into the cloud, it collides with the volcanic ash particles inside. The friction creates a bright shimmering glow on the windscreen. No idea what they were looking at. Passengers aboard the flight also see a strange glow around the plane's jet engines. Smoke begins to seep into the cabin around them. Volcanic ash has been sucked into the aircraft's ventilation system. With ash particles clouding the cabin and the aircraft lit up, the volcanic cloud deals its most deadly blow. Engine failure, number four. Fire action, number four. Checklist. The ash has snuffed out one of the jet's four massive engines. Closed, start lever, off. Number two, engine's gone. All right then, begin the engine shut. No, wait! They've all gone. All four engines have failed. The other three just went out almost immediately, and that's when it begins to be a serious emergency. The 747 is suddenly powerless, and it's quickly falling to the sea. Starting the engines has become the crew's only priority. But volcanic ash is making that task impossible. The temperatures in the combustion chamber where this ash is flowing through are around 2,000 degrees centigrade. And so the volcanic ash we know melts at about 1,300, 1,400 degrees. The volcanic ash transforms into molten goo within the jet engines. The material blocks key air passages and causes the engines to surge and shut down. Roger, declare emergency. Have less than half an hour before their aircraft will crash into the Indian Ocean. All right, begin restart drill. Set. Battery. Check. On. Then, with just 12,000 feet separating British Airways Flight 009 from the ocean, engine number four roars to life. Engine three, back online. I can't believe it. Engines one and two, both back online. As soon as you came out of the volcanic ash, and the engines were not running, remember, so everything cooled down, it was enough for this stuff to break off and allow the engines to restart. British Airways Flight 009 landed safely. No one was injured, and an important lesson was learned. Airways Flight 009's emergency landing in Jakarta Communications were improved between the geologists who watch volcanoes on the ground and the pilots who must avoid the ash clouds.